My name is Yair Davidi. My name is Yair Davidi. I uh, represent Brit and Hebrew Awareness. We research the whereabouts of the Lost End Tribes. And this is a Zoom meeting, and we are people who are interested in the subject. And the theme of the subject is the individual uh, identification of Israelite tribes. But we're open to, to see how things develop. So uh, each one of the people, present people who come in will introduce themselves and make a few a brief comment. We'll see how things go. So uh, Gene Porter, would you like to say something, please? Sure. Uh, I'm Gene Porter. And those of you that know me know that I've been uh, conducting a podcast for Slash Radio Show for about 11 years now regarding the two houses of Israel. And... Uh, it started as a curiosity and it ended as an obsession. Actually, it hasn't ended. The obsession has just increased and increased because uh, I have become convinced that the two houses of Israel are the single most important thing in the world today. Once the once those two houses are reunited into Kol HaIsrael, everything's going to change. And uh, I I just believe that that's the case. And I so I want to be a part of that. I want to see. I want to contribute everything I can contribute to that happening. Okay. It's great to be here. And thank thank you, Yair, okay. for doing this. Well, one of the one of the things that you mentioned to me right before we started this recording that I had never even thought about was in America, thinking in terms of specific tribes being in specific parts of the United States. So anything that you can mention about that would be of great interest to me. Okay. Uh, you know, that because I, I, I've always thought of America as just a, a huge conglomerate of all of us mixed in together. Okay, and so you, this you is sound something, like you've got it. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this is something we're still working on. But anyway, we have got some material on it. So I'll give you some material on that. It's interesting. Great. And then, then we'll, we'll see how it will play by you. Uh, John, John uh, would you like to say something? You're from Canada, John, uh, yeah. in Brazil. That's right. You're gracing right. The, the people of Brazil with your presence. Down there in the, in the tropics. Well, it's, it's, it's a big adventure. It's a big, it's a big adventure in my relationship with God, and in following the Holy Spirit, you know, from place to place and from step by step, because it is, it is really amazing what is happening, and it is really going to test our faith, you know. Uh, but uh, the kingdom of God is coming in its fullness but the this new world order this roman empire um, global roman empire has got to be revealed first but it will be destroyed because they're corrupting everything so i'm seeking first god's kingdom and his righteousness and and my relationship with god is the most important thing of all okay very nice any, any specific tribe you're interested in you'd like us to, to consider uh, John, uh, yes. Is there any specific question concerning the identification of the tribes you'd like us to, to touch upon? Well, I have a certain vision about the United States in 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 relation to Israel and in a, a certain date that I see. Now, my personal opinion is the United States is 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 a prime, but there are elements in the United States that I see that are Menashe that's sort of in the Bible Belt. In, in fact, Alabama is, is, is really a central part of what I see. And I see this in terms of colors. I see like Ephraim is green and Menashe is, is yellow and Ephraim is more prophetic and Menashe is more a healing spirit, spirit of healing. Oh, uh, Nelson, would you like to say something? Wonder how I yes, uh, lovely being here again, uh, Yeah. I uh, just want to compliment you once again. I'm a big fan of your work. Uh, just for everybody, I basically have an academic background, uh, taught at the University of Toronto, and um, worked as, and uh, did graduate studies as a media scientist. I started studying uh, the tribes in 1979, basically was uh, made aware of it by uh, uh, Herbert W. Armstrong's writings, and, um, and uh, Dr. Herman Hay, and uh, got very much involved in studying it uh, academically wherever I could, and started reading and was made familiar with uh, 
uh, Mr. Davidi's works, uh, which are extensive and have read his books and since then been studying this subject intensely. I've done my own analysis, uh, DNA and otherwise, of my own self and discovered I'm a, uh, basically a Cohen. Uh, specifically today, I'd like to just um, ask Yair to go into, maybe he could talk about um, the Ukraine since it's so much in the news um, and uh, what tribal identity he feels that we can put to the Ukrainians and uh, that's basically uh, what all I've got to say right now. Okay. So wait a minute. I'll just uh, make a note because uh, so that I sort of see like this whole idea of the tribe of Ephraim and the tribe of Judah coming together as one stick. Okay. That 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 is actually what happened in Great Britain, I believe, when uh, Oliver Cromwell started to allow the Jews to return. But I see it in my own self because God has shown me which tribe my father is from and which tribe my mother is from. Okay. And so, so I, 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 that's why I feel so strongly about Israel. But I didn't know that until, you know, 96, 99. We'll come back to that. Uh, uh, wait a second. Jonathan, Jonathan Ostetler. 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 Yeah. yeah. How are you? Where, where are you speaking from? I'm from Chelsea, Alabama. Alabama? Okay, very nice. Yeah. Uh, is any specific tribe you're interested in? Yeah, definitely the tribe of Dan. Okay, very good. Uh, Dan is also a favorite of mine. Okay, very nice. Okay, I'll make a note of that. Maybe you can get to that. Uh, Kitty, any tribe you're interested in? Uh, yes, Kitty? certainly. I yes. believe that I'm uh, Ephraim. Yeah. My ancestors are traced back to England and Wales. Yeah. Okay, very good. And they were early uh, uh, settlers in the United States. Where are you speaking from, Kitty? Which which, which, which I, I live in Aiken, South Carolina, but yeah. my my uh, ancestors were from England and Wales, and they settled in uh, eastern, southeastern Virginia. Okay, very good. Very good, nice. Uh, Sylvia, how are you? Would I'm you fine, like thank to, you. you have any comments to make? No, I'm looking forward to this class, though, and I wonder, are you going to help people find their tribes, or what? Uh, no, I'm not. We, get, we, we provide information. We provide information, insights, and sometimes it does help people. Sometimes it, 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 it all helps. It all adds to the, the overall picture. As much as more numbers right. is out there, the more awareness is out there, the more the more it helps everyone get to their final goal. Oh, that's some, great. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, John. How are you going, John? Hey, yeah. everybody. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I sometimes okay, we believe the lost tribes amongst Western nations, uh, and that in our generation, in our time, in our time, uh, in our time, the USA is a major Israelite nation, and the the, the USA <laughs> is uh, is dominated by the tribes of Joseph, Ephraim, and Manasseh, especially Manasseh. Dominates the USA. We have uh, uh, books on the subject. We have a whole thing on this on this. Proving it. Uh, Jane, we can't see you. You disappeared on us. Anyway, huh. so we believe that the, the, the USA is is a, is the center of all the tribes in Israel. All the tribes of Israel are to be found, representatives of them are to be found, be found in the USA. Even though the dominant tribe is Joseph, Ephraim, and Manasseh, in our opinion, especially Manasseh, others say Ephraim. There's another uh, difference of opinion. It doesn't really matter for what we are concerned with. So we say that all the tribes are present in the USA. The USA is 50 states, but the original states of America were 13 states. So 13 colonies representing 13 tribes. And all the other tribes of the USA, somehow or other, extend are extension of one other of the 13 original tribes. So even though, and that, so that, so there is a connection between the 13 tribes and all of the other tribes. 
And one of the original tribes uh, states, one of the original 13 tribes was Delaware, as we mentioned, as Gene put in, now dwells, now lives in, uh, in Delaware. Delaware is only a small kind of, a small state, how, how many, what's its population? Two million or something, or it's not I, very I large. I think it's, yeah, two or three million. Yeah, it's not very large. Probably, yeah. And what, but, and what does Delaware, what does what, what is what keeps it, what keeps Delaware going? What what's the main state of the Delaware, Delaware's economy? The en, the steam engine the, to which everything else somehow uh, trace, can be traced back. Litigation. Yeah, Delaware, is, Delaware is the Delaware is the place where everybody uh, registers their corporations because Delaware has the most lax incorporation laws of all the states. Okay. So if you start up a company and you want to register it and you don't want to spend months uh, going through the bureaucracy in, the, in your home state and paying uh, an enormous sums of money, you just go up to Delaware, pay a, a nominal sum, and they have officers there and they have lawyers there and they have people who, are, who, who have perfected the art of, what, of, of doing what has to be done in order to enable you to set your, your company up. And you pay them a sum of money, and they have office workers, and they have legal workers, and they have a whole system, a whole, whole infrastructure of legal, of legal workers dedicated to this. And because the infrastructure is there, other, other industries also take advantage of it. For instance, you have insurance. Insurance companies have a lot of legal work in the insurance companies. So a lot of them... Uh, place uh, their operations, transfer their operations to Delaware to take advantage of the infrastructure, legal infrastructure, which is already there. And uh, and so, and that, that employs an enormous number of people. You have to have secretaries, you have to have computer workers, you have to have people around the office. You have to have legal experts, officers for the legal experts, uh, uh, for the legal experts, people to maintain the offices. And then you have to have people to feed the people in the offices. And taxi drivers to drive them, and a whole, whole uh, civilization built around this. And the, a good portion of the whole of Delaware is derived from this, is based on this. And we trace, we identify Delaware with the tribe of Dan. The tribe of Dan, the tribe of Dan in Hebrew means, tri, uh, tri, Dan in Hebrew means judgment. Okay. And uh, in the Talmud, they said they, 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 uh, is a, an anecdote of a person they were associated with was always threatening to go to take someone to court. So they said uh, one is uh, to litigate with them. So they said this was an aspect of the tribe of Dan. Dan is associated with litigation, and Delaware is a state we identify with the tribe of Dan. And uh, so that's uh, that's how we go. Um, we have a, a newcomer just came in, Laurie Schmidt. You want to say something, Laurie? I'm a friend of Nelson's. Sorry, my phone. I had to switch to um, Zoom. Um, all I could say is that um, I've done my uh, family history for since about the 70s, traced it quite far back, and I'm just listening. Okay, very good. If you have any questions, everyone else has introduced themselves. So, if you have any questions or anything you'd like to, to point out, I, to, I think I'll listen. Thank you. Okay, just let us know. We'll see how things go. We'll see how it works out. Nelson Thor, our good friend Nelson Thor. We know Nelson Thor for ages, for centuries, <laughs> <laughs> but decades, decades. When we still first started up, when we first started up printing that book. Somehow or other, Nelson thought, thought, thought about us, got in touch with us. Never since then we've been in, in touch on and off, on and off, on and off. On and off but we, uh, uh, Nelson uh, kept coming back and we kept, uh, uh, we, we, uh, we're old friends. Anyway, so it wasn't. It's a great honor to be one of your students, Yair. Okay. So we have Nelson, Nelson asked us about Ukraine. Okay, the Ukraine and the present situation. We, uh, I, I, I always, I always have a problem with this. I've got a lot of people have, uh, when you say something about certain countries, a lot of people, so grandmothers, great grandmothers, 
from certain countries and you're liable to, to offend them you, and, and you don't want to offend them because you don't mean to offend them. And also we believe that anyone who comes to an Israelite nation is to send from Israel. That the lost ten tribes moved. They moved to take lost ten tribes who were in, uh, were in the land of Israel. Twelve tribes in the land of Israel. They divided into two different sections. The ten tribes were in the north. The ten tribes were taken away by the Assyrians into exile and they take away different sections of the Assyrian Empire and then they moved. They moved by different pathways of migration and they converged in Western Europe and in Western nations, especially the nations of Sweden, Norway, Finland, the Netherlands, uh, Belgium, France, Switzerland, England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland. Yeah, that's where the Austrian tribes are concentrated but when in the process of their moving they also moved through different countries and they lived in, in a lot of places, they lived large segments of them stayed behind. And we also trace them in a book, The Tribes, this book, The Tribes, we trace them all over the place, show through migrate, migratory paths, they were segments of Austrian tribes who lived behind, they're behind in Italy, they're behind in Germany, they're behind in other places. But from those areas, somehow, the most of them left, reconverged. For instance, there was a big migration from Germany in the 1700s, 1800s to the USA. And we show how, and we show how the people who got up from Germany and left were different from those who stayed behind. And we identify those with those who left and came to the USA as, uh, as, as belonging to the tribe of Manasseh. And also we quote sociological studies, also even physical anthropological studies. The people who come to America, the USA and those who stayed behind were different. We trace them to a lot of tribes. I've one similar uh, phenomenon in Italy and in other parts of Europe, okay? And there may be still descendants from the Lost Ten Tribes amongst other places where they were. So there may have been a lot of uh, descendants from the, of the Lost Ten Tribes did pass through the Ukraine. And the, some of the Ukraine, the, some of the Ukrainians who went to the, the USA, went to Australia, went to other places, may be Israelites, based on the same principle. Incidentally, we also use this principle to distinguish between tribes, different tribes. We find in Britain, we find in Britain that those Britishers who went to the USA in its foundational period, at the beginning, before the foundation of the USA, the very early Britishers who came to, to America came from specific areas of the British Isles and also belonged to specific social classes. They were different from those who stayed behind. Uh, even though the, the, both those who came and those who left, we identified with the lost tribes of Israel that were from different tribes.